Hi everyone, we're in Tokyo Hanada Terminal 1 right now and there's this really cool flight shop where they sell really cool stuff so we'll take a look. Um, the first time I came here was about 10 years ago when my uncle first introduced it but ever since then I've just come here every time that I've been to Japan so they've got like model planes, we'll get a good look at that in a moment. Um, but yeah, let's take a look. So apparently we've got some notebooks by the looks of it. Airbus 350 Japan Airlines merch. That's pretty cool, that's a really nice shiny key ring. Might get one of those. Uh, what else do we have? We've had some airplane specification bags. And some more things, I don't actually know what these are. Uh, but they look, they look cool. We have some models, I don't think these ones are for sale, but they're good decoration. You can see there's inside the shop and outside. Lots of planes. Lovely A350 there as well. A bit more airplane merch. I think we've got some bags down here, it's like sports bags or something. We've got some towels as well. And some other merchandise, I think some key rings and tags of various sorts. Oh, well, this is so cool. Look, they've got rulers in the name of the runway. So we've got the hand of the runway and it's, I think it's 30 centimeters long. So a pretty long ruler. It looks metal as well. Might have to get one of them. All right. More merch. The Japanese really love their merchandise, don't they? We've even got One World merch. Not even an airline, but an airline alliance. They've got some kids' toys here, like fridge magnets, um, some playing cards, some little plushies. Obviously, just as kids' stuff as well. The wooden stuff's pretty cute though. Yeah. More kids stuff. I think this, this shop used to have a lot more proper models, but they seem to have cut down on that a little bit. Maybe just trying to sell more sellable kids stuff anyway. But we've got some proper models over here, we'll look at that in a second. Uh, so here's where we're, you know, starting to really talk about things here. So we've got some Herpa, um, I think they're die cast, I might be wrong, but we've got some Herpa 1 to 500s here. Also got another set of models as well. And, ah, so I think this is the collectible set. So we've got, uh, I think that's an ANA A320 along with some other airlines as well. And I think the point is you open these boxes and you get one, but you don't know what's inside of it. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Cool, they've gone up a bit. They used to be about five, 600 yen. Here we've got some more proper models, 1 to 200 scale, and some of the really expensive ANA ones, I think. Yeah, there's the, um, I think the flying turtles, 
NAA380, which is really nice and very expensive though. Look at that. That's about 160 quid. Uh, I guess one of the coolest parts of this is uh, this part over here. So if we just look all around, we've got a whole diorama set up here. We've got a Boeing, a Boeing 777 Japan Airlines on the runway. Uh, obviously, this is extortionate. I'm not going to buy that. <laughs> we've got some US Air Force toys. Hello, Mr. President. We've got some more models here. These are again just toy ones, but on the top shelf is, you know, the more proper stuff. There we go. This time it's a 787. I think, is that a 787-9? Looks like it. Yeah, it's too long to be a Dash 8, but... And then what do we have down there? So, a few more toys, but down here, I think these look a, a little bit more proper. Let's just have a look at one of these. So, okay, I'm not sure why there's so much packaging, but... That doesn't look too bad quality, does it? These are all 1 to 400 scale, but there we go. We've got some very fancy box A350s. Don't know what's inside them, probably a die cast model, but. More of the same down here. So, what are these ones then? Now these are the little planes. Again, we've got massive packaging for such little planes. I don't know what that is about, but... <laughs> and I've got some of these, I think. Um, oh, these are the Everrise ones. I don't have Everrise, but I have Hogan wings. But these are pretty cool. The 1 to 200 scale wide bodies. They're always a good treat to have. And I've got a 1 to 100 scale Embryo. You have a plane in the mix as well. That one's got a Wi-Fi dome on it. And then some smaller scale ones over here. Uh, it's hard to know if these are die cast or whatever, but let's have a quick look. Everize, well that's a great sign, isn't it? In my experience, Everize aren't the best quality, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is metal or plastic. I've probably missed it somewhere, but it doesn't feel that heavy, so it could be plastic, but there we go. And on the top shelf, we've got some models on display. Really, really nice to see. There we go. Oh, and an old livery there as well. Okay, we'll look around the last few shelves for some merchandise. Then we've got, ah, oh, this is cool, a Japan Airlines key card holder. I think I've got one of these at home, but... I don't know where it is. We have um, some other key tags, uh, lanyards, um, some mirrors, some pens, more lanyards, more pens. Pretty cool. As I said, Japan really do love their merch. Um, so I think that's pretty much most of what we've seen. There's a few more things over here, but Ooh, what are these? Oh, I think they're like bags or something. Oh, shopping bags as well. Yeah, we've seen this as well. Right, so I think that's the end of the flight shop video. Um, one thing that's really cool is they got this little cashier focus, this cashier checkout thing. Uh, obviously, if you watched all the way to the end of this video, I hope you've enjoyed looking around the shop. I know I always look, enjoy looking around model shops, but um, yeah, no, I really appreciate you guys watching, so thanks very much. Hopefully I have a good and safe time in Japan and that I make it back to the UK in one piece, but um, yeah, that's the end of this video, so we'll see you again soon.